Welcome to the Great Electric Train Show 2017. The show takes place over the second weekend in October and attracts model railway enthusiasts from all over the world. Let's have a look around. Triang's Minic motorways were introduced in the 1960s and Dave Lyon showed off his vintage layout. Some of the layouts were huge, like this scale O layout, Wick End, by Chris and David Warner. One of a number of demonstrations going on was by Scenics, which produced handcrafted scale model trees. Dovedale Models showed off some excellent scale model buildings, handmade by David Wright. The show is well worth the admission fee, as you get to look around the Motor Museum as well. Back to the show and I was particularly interested in the demonstrations going on around. Green Scene demonstrated how to produce realistic green foliage. Again, leave it to dry, rack him off the excess. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. Uh, nobody had done that before. No. But then, bear in mind, every time you finish, the glue is... The Hornby showed off its current and future models, along with a growing range of literature. Alan Butler's Model U demonstration was interesting. You can have a 3D camera body scan of yourself and the scale model produced to add to your layout. Mm -hmm. 
seat. Mick Bonwick gave an excellent demonstration on weathering models to make them look more realistic. The way it works is to get, get thinner onto the brush. And add the wash. Until, until the drops so the, the idea of using that type of brush, the long bristles hold a large volume of paint and the tip is small enough to be able to direct the content to specific areas. But we're going to work on that one panel and apply the brush to a corner. The um, capillary action will then take that thin paint into all the detail. See how just by three touches of the brush, that panel has now had all the detail highlighted. Yeah. <laughs> It's enamel paint, essentially, so to dry hard, it will take about 24 hours. <laughs> when, when I'm working on something like this, I might not want to wait 24 hours before I go on to the next stage. So it's perfectly possible and feasible to help the drying process with the airflow, just the airflow from an airbrush. Just ordinary air? Just air. Right. Because it's quite a bit of fluid on there, I'm starting way back here. If I come in close, it will hit a wet patch and the paint will go everywhere. So start off at a distance and gradually get closer. And you might be able to see it's actually starting to dry out. As it dries out, it changes colour. You might be able to see that it's getting lighter as it dries. This just accelerates the drying process. You may sometimes want to actually see what the finished colour is like before you go on to the next stage. And by just blowing air at it, you can do that. See, most, most of that paint is now dry. Well, that's it for this year. Hope you enjoyed it and see you all again next year. For more information on the Great Electric Train Show, visit the website www.greatelectrictrainshow.com.